morning folks, you know, I'm late today. I may have to paint after meeting up with the rest of them, so let's first go check out what everyone else is doing. Okay, this is really pretty. Wow. Thank you. Good <laughs> job. It looks like you're adding color because um, you're holding this whole tray. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, no. What, what are you using? Paint, uh, uh, watercolor, right? Watercolor, uh, but it's a uh, Daniel Smith uh, Lunar Black. Yeah. How long did it take for you to do this piece uh, so far, like from start until here? Uh, I think it's from like 9.30. I just started. So that's one hour. Yes. Just there, right? Yeah, I was just there. Wow. Last week. Barcelona. Yeah. It's a house there. La Sagrada. This one is La Sagrada. And this is? It's, it's the same. It's like part of. It's just the other side of it. Okay. Yeah. And then this one is. Uh, it's this is just like a street where I stayed in Valencia. Yeah. yeah I'm just kidding. This is the previous uh, oh, yeah, yeah, session. Yeah. yeah. Home of oranges. Yeah. So when you travel, what what do you carry with you? Uh, this one. Yeah, I actually just use the same thing. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice and small. So okay. Are they of a particular brand or? Uh, the paints are different brands. Mm -hmm. This box is just like a generic box that you can get from any art store. Okay. Yeah, I think Paka has reviewed it on his blog, so I went on his blog. It's like, oh, okay, this box is really good. Okay. It's so small. Yes. Well, this one is Rose Quinacridon, which is very hard oh. to find. So I couldn't find it at the shop, so I just used the old one that I... It's already dried up, but I just carry on using it in this tube. It's good for mixing. Thank yeah. you. Nice. Someone's gearing up for the Miyazaki studio posting because they are hiring right now so yeah guys i found a newbie yay desmond uh, and uh his wife bessie was this something that you always wanted to do or have you been uh yes. sketching and doodling no, actually this is what all, all along i wanted to do but i just don't have the time but today was uh even though it's raining so i like, really make my way here with my wife uh, first at them so hopefully yeah okay from now on can can do it almost every month right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually the group meets on an ad hoc basis every every Saturday and even during the week also how did you hear about urban sketches or how do you hear about me I saw from your Facebook <laughs> from Facebook and then I said hey eh, I know this is what he wanted to so I forward to him yeah. and then just Today he's free, so I said, why not? Let's, let's start something. Do you have training in uh, sketching or drawing or uh, technical? Not, not, not really. Okay. Just that I love to draw. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I mean, never I actually do this kind of drawing. I couldn't remember when when was the last time I did it. Okay, so you've heard it from that one. It doesn't matter your background. It helps if you have some sort of a drawing background or if you did it in primary school, elementary school. There's no stopping you from sketching and joining a group like this.
Paka doing a digital sketch. Do you use Procreate? Yes, it's Procreate. I'm using this only because I forgot to bring my watercolor box. Oops. What's the difference you find between uh, traditional watercolor and uh, Procreate? Besides the speed? Uh, or maybe it's slower? The order of the order of painting is a bit different. So sometimes you can uh, with watercolor you can draw pen and ink first and then layer with watercolor. So that's basically the order. But with with digital you can draw and then layer with color and then draw again and then layer with color. If you don't like anything you can erase. So the order is more flexible. Do you work on A4 size or slightly larger than that? Sure. This one is actually 4K resolution because I'm um, recording this so I'm recording at the same resolution as the video that I'm going to create. But does it lag because it's um, 4K? Uh, no, it doesn't lag. Okay. It's actually very powerful. Even the, what's that, the iPad 6, the cheapest version, is still quite fast. You can actually grow in 4K as well. So nowadays, computer tablets, they are very powerful, so not really an issue, especially for Apple iPads, they are very responsive. Thank you. Okay, Happy sketching. What is this? Uh, it's Chinese ink and um, it has... But it looks the, like the a paste. It's not, it's not flowy. No, be because um, it has a gauss in it. Yeah, so it it prevents it from overflowing. Which is, explains the mess. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I thought I was mm. seeing a paste. Actually, it's a gauss. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I picked this up from KK. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And and this, what 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 is this? Is this a real uh, twig yes, that you yes. shaved? It's a Sui Mei Zi. It's from KK as well. It's all the way from Penang. Oh, he's got it. So this came from his father's plant. <laughs> Is it light? Yeah. Oh, wow. Fantastic. And you shave it down every mm. now and then? Mm -hmm. to every something. time that you need to um, do your drawing, you need a fresh start. Okay. Because else it doesn't soak up. Ah, yeah. okay. So every time you need to start, you have to shave it down. Okay. I see design and, and all that in here. So mm. before this twig drawing, were you sketching already? Were you um, drawing a lot? You mean like before urban sketching? Yeah, before urban sketching. Um, I guess I'm, I made sculptures <laughs> before. Okay, okay. Um, that helps with 3D yeah, space. So, yeah. so not particularly like drawing, but it was some. I mean drawing is something I've got back into uh, since 2016 yeah. and I guess uh, being with different um, urban sketcher community have been an awesome help because everywhere or every city I go people are just so warm and that's the best way to immerse in the culture uh, make new friendships and, and see the place yeah exactly exactly so there's a little biodiversity park here that's made by, I don't know, it comes under the name of this group called the Waterways Watch Society. So a lot of the things that you see here are all recycled items, uh, which is neat. So those were the two mascots for the Singapore 2010 Youth Olympics. I think it was the first Olympics ever for young people. Yeah. Pebble Baby condos. Yeah. And you got them kayaking or dragon boat things. Yeah. So that's cool. Okay, so this morning you see a lot of people kayaking, also dragon boating. For those of us who don't know what dragon boating is, here's the background story. Dragon boat racing and eating rice dumplings go hand in hand as they are celebrated on the 5th day of the 5th lunar month. There are many stories of how the dragon boat race and eating rice dumplings came to be. One of my favourites is the story of poet and minister Qi Yuan, who lived in the ancient city of Chu, 
during the Chou Dynasty. She was banished and accused of treason by the king he served when he opposed the alliance the king made with the state of Qin. During Qi's exile, he wrote a lot of poetry. Qin captured the Chu capital 28 years later, and in despair because his warnings fell on deaf ears, Chu Yuan committed suicide by drowning himself in the Miluo River. Those who admired Chu Yuan raced to save him from drowning. When his body couldn't be found, they dropped balls of sticky rice into the river so the fish would eat those instead of Chu Yuan's body. It's 12.01 right now. The group meets at 12.15. I'm in the dilemma here. Do I paint that? Or that? This one seems a little bit more doable. I can format it on a 9x12. This, I actually brought a panoramic canvas board, but I think I'll save it for another day when the sunset pinks and oranges are being cast in the sky. Guys, when push comes to shove, I'm probably gonna come back to continue on this painting after show and tell. My choice of subject today would be this trawler. It clears and it sifts out garbage from the river over here leaving it okay just imagine it really clean this is Singapore yeah. <laughs> so let's begin I'm painting in this very natural area over there is the indoor stadium but what what it looks like over here is like a volcano somewhere off in the islands, some other island over there. So that's my composition for today. I'm gonna pause right there, leave my stuff here. Go check out show and tell and then come back right here to finish the painting. First time, first time. sketches oh, this is April yeah April end of the month 2019 until the next one it's actually back to my painting right now and we are back guys <laughs> 